My name is Troy DeFeo, and I am the pastor here at Living Hope Baptist Church. Um, I have been serving here as the pastor uh, since 2014. So in addition of also being a pastor um, here at the church, I also work as a teacher, I, as a social studies teacher um, at Obania Middle School here in Garland. So I, I'm excited to be able to, to, be able to do both jobs uh, as a full-time uh, career and as a ministry, ministry for myself and uh, my mission field. Joseph House um, actually started uh, with a young man named Joseph Thompson. And so uh, Joseph had muscular dystrophy and, um, and he was one of my uh, students, uh, youth kids, uh, that I spent a lot of time with. And um, we named this mission house um, after uh, Joseph Thompson. In 2015, of August of 2015, we completed the house and it was actually the Dallas Baptist Association that came in and gave us this uh, grant to be able to help remodel and be able to help set things up to uh, uh, fill the place with some clothes, with toiletries, with food that um, we as a church, as a small church, really couldn't do just on our own. At that time, we didn't know that an F4 tornado would be coming in just four months later in December 26, 2015 that missed our church and actually unfortunately uh, destroyed many of the uh, homes uh, 300 yards away from our house. When the tornado hit, our church and Joseph's house was the only place around here in this neighborhood that actually had electricity. Uh, fortunately, it was a place for the fire department, the police department, uh, the uh, Texas uh, Baptist men were here and helped us and as well as many other churches came in and provided um, all of these supplies and clothes and food. And so what our community did was come together, all these churches came together and then it actually ended up serving all the people that were in need, all the survivors. But we had to have been ready and if we weren't ready then we wouldn't have been able to do that. And the Gladys Moore Mission Offering um, they gave to us um, locally. I mean, that's where the money is going to. It's coming to the local uh, churches, back to us. I mean, if we hear so much about the uh, Lottie Moon and Given Global, and we encourage you to continue to do that. But there's something about local. There's something about being able to say, thank you so much for giving, and we can give back locally as you give to the Gladys Moore Mission Fund. You're also gonna have this great opportunity, even during the annual meeting, to be able to come personally and to give your, your mission offering to them. And you're gonna be able to see that 100% of it back to you, to the church, back to the community, back to the people, to do what it's intended to do. I want us to say as a church that when you give to the Gladys Moore Missions, you're, you're telling people we want to be ready. You're, you're ready because you're giving and you're giving of your heart. And we're all in this together. It's not a competition between churches. I welcome the help and we hope that we will also be there as a church, as a Living Hope Baptist Church, to be there for you if there ever is a time that you as your church locally ever need anything as well.